Angels were rarely depicted in Christian art before Constantine's reign. The oldest known fresco featuring an angel is from the 2nd century. During Constantine's reign, a new type of angel with wings emerged, inspired by classic art figures. Angels became popular in Christian art during the 5th century, often depicted as attendants to Jesus and the Virgin Mary. Welcome to SD Kaysen Courses. Today we are discussing how angels have been depicted in art. Let's begin. Before Constantine, Christian art rarely depicted angels. The oldest known fresco featuring an angel is the Annunciation scene from the 2nd century, found in the cemetery of St. Priscilla. A 3rd century painting of the same subject was discovered by Wilpert in the cemetery of Saints Peter and Marcellinus, where the archangel Gabriel is depicted in human form wearing a tunic and pallium. The 4th century syncretistic fresco depicting the judgment of Vibia features the good angel, Angelus Bonus, also illustrated in human form, dressed as a sacred personage. Unlike the winged angel, which abundant scriptural references suggest, pre-Constantinian Christian art did not feature them, possibly because they were associated with favorite subjects of classic art. In this early period of Christian art, such as in the Annunciation scene, angels were only represented if it was historically necessary. For example, a dove replaces the angel in a 3rd century fresco of the Hebrew children in the furnace. At the same time, a 4th century representation of the same subject substitutes the hand of God for the heavenly messenger. In Christian art, a new type of angel with wings emerged during the reign of Constantine. These winged angels were inspired by classic art figures like the Victories. However, the danger of these figures being associated with idolatry was no longer present. As historic art replaced symbolic art, angels with wings became more common. The transition from the classic victory to the winged angel can be seen in certain Gnostic sculptures. The oldest known examples of winged angels date back to the 4th century, including some bas-reliefs from Carthage and an ivory representation of St. Michael. The latter is part of a diptych in the British Museum and shows the Archangel Michael standing on the upper steps of a decorated doorway, holding a staff in one hand and a globe with a cross on top in the other. This figure is exceptionally well crafted. During the 5th century, there was a change in how angels were depicted in Christian art. In the Annunciation scene on St. Mary Major's triumphal arch, the angel Gabriel is shown flying towards Mary, who is surrounded by other winged angels. Angels became popular in Christian art, often depicted as attendants to Jesus and the Virgin Mary. Examples can be seen in the 6th century mosaics at the churches of St. Mary Major's, St. Apollinare Nuovo, and St. Vitale in Ravenna. In these mosaics, Archangels Michael and Gabriel are dressed in military clothing and holding military standards with the word holy inscribed. The Hierarchia Coelestis of Pseudo Dionysius also significantly influenced the artistic portrayal of angels during this time. This work represented the different categories of the angelic host and their relationship to God, similar to court functionaries paying homage to the emperor in the East. Cults of Angels during the early days of Christianity, angels were not frequently mentioned in Christian literature and art. This was due to the prevalent belief in many gods, which made it necessary to emphasize the unity of God. Creating an official cult for angels during the first centuries of Christianity would have caused them to be seen as inferior divinities, as seen in the Gnostic movement. However, there is evidence that angels were still considered significant in Christian teaching. For example, Justin Martyr in his first apology and Athenagoras in a plea for the Christians recognized the importance of good angels and their duties appointed by God. Later on, Eusebius of Caesarea clearly distinguished between the cult of angels and the worship of God. At the same time, St. Ambrose recommended praying to angels. From the 5th century, churches were dedicated to angels, especially in Umbria and in the East. Churches were built in honor of St. Michael. Archangels Michael and Gabriel were also invoked in the most ancient litanies, after the persons of the Trinity and immediately before the Blessed Virgin. In conclusion, the depiction of angels in Christian art evolved over time, from the absence of winged angels in pre-Constantinian art to the emergence of winged angels in the 4th century. This transition was influenced by classic art and the changing attitudes toward symbolic art. 
angels became popular in Christian art during the 5th century, often depicted as attendants to Jesus and the Virgin Mary. The rise of cults dedicated to angels also attests to their significant role in Christian teaching and worship. Through the centuries, the depiction of angels in Christian art reflects artistic trends and theological and cultural contexts. And that was angel representations in art in a nutshell. Thanks for learning with us. Until next time, may God bless you forever.